Hi friends, welcome to Harmony Hills Home and Garden. I'm Jenny and we live and garden here in Baltimore, Maryland, Zone 7. Today's project, put these cat's pajamas nepeta into the ground to replace the Walker's Low nepeta that I recently removed from this arbor area. Come with me and let's make this area look a little bit prettier with cat's pajamas. I'm gonna be putting one each cat's pajamas nepeta at the base of this arbor right here, where I used to have Walker's Low Nepeta, but it grows so big that it like it blocked the whole path through the arbor. So these won't grow as big as the Walker's Low, and so it'll be a nicer um, footing for this uh, trellis here, this arbor. And then also over by that obelisk with the rose on it, I'm gonna put two more of these cat's pajamas nepeta. So um, this is gonna soften this area. It's gonna bring that pop of purple that I really love, but it won't overtake the area like the Walker's Low did. Let's talk about this plant real quick. This is a proven winter's plant. It's called cat's pajamas. It is a perennial. It grows uh, 12 to 14 inches tall. Now it'll put out a flush of blooms in the early spring that is really bright, really beautiful, a lovely purple color, just like that. And then once that's done, you trim that back all the way to the green leaves. And then it'll sporadically throughout the summer, it'll put out more. Now these plants are looking a little bit bedraggled in some of the, some of the stems, but you can see it is putting out a few new bloom stalks. So what I'm going to do is plant these and then I'm gonna trim them all back and I'm gonna let them reflush if they want. And I also might trim off some of these dead foliage pieces that got a little bit dry, maybe while they were sitting in my plant stash, oh, I was gone. Um, so, yeah. Uh, oh, I didn't finish telling you about the plant. Okay, so they grow 12 to 14 inches tall and you spread them out about 18 to 20 inches apart. And so that means that from the center of where you plant it, it only grows nine or 10 inches to the left and to the right. So if I plant them at the base of this arbor, it won't block the center of the arbor like the Walker's Low did. Okay, these are hardy in zones three through eight. So a lot of the continental United States can plant this successfully. It blooms in the late spring, like I said, with a really big flush of blooms and then sporadically throughout the summer into early fall, um, if you keep deadheading it. Uh, it wants to live in full sun. Now, I don't have anywhere in my garden that's full sun except maybe in the front yard right out by the sidewalk. Uh, this is a part sun situation, but it does get morning to afternoon sun, like late morning, like 11 o'clock until about 4 o'clock. It gets full sun there, uh, direct sun. So I'm hoping that this will thrive here just like the Walker's Low did. Is, is there anything else I want to tell you about it? Oh, and they're deer resistant and rabbit resistant. Now, knock on wood, we haven't had deer inside the fence here uh, this season. I have in years past had deer inside the fence, but I think this year so far they haven't come in. But we do have a family of rabbits, including a mom and some babies who are living down here in this lower garden. And so uh, it's good to have rabbit resistant plants in here as well. Also, I should tell you, I'm battling squirrels. I have two tomato plants who are using this trellis as support right now. And the, I've seen the squirrels come and grab the tomatoes off of the plant and then go up and sit on top of that arbor and just eat my tomatoes. It's crazy. <sighs> So um, I'm thinking that the squirrels will leave this alone as well. Uh, today's weather is, mm, it's like 73 degrees, 100% humidity. We had thunderstorms rolling through last night and it is wet. The, I mean, I'm already glistening and all I'm doing is talking to you. So if you don't see my face on camera a whole lot today, that's why. Also, I have been covered over in bug spray because Ah, the bugs are out anyway, so it's kind of like, it's like my least favorite gardening weather. That's not true. It's not hot, um, but I'm already sweating because of how humid it is. So you didn't need to know any of that, did you? Oh my gosh. Shut up, Jenny. Just get to work. Okay. Okay. Well, there's nothing special about how I'm going to plant these. It's just going to be dig the hole, put in some biotone starter fertilizer for good, healthy root growth, backfill, and then trim up the plants so that they can uh, re-sprout with fresh growth. So let's just get to it.
I do have tulip bulbs in here that are being marked by these stakes right here. And I'm just hoping, oh look, see, there's one. I'm hoping that I don't like absolutely kill all of them, but let's see if I can get this plant in here. That looks drastic, but that is going to be totally fine. The plant will reflush new green growth from there and it'll look beautiful in just a couple of weeks. Okay, well, the planting job is done. It's not the most dramatic planting job I've ever shared on my channel here, but you can see I've got uh, the cat's pajamas on both sides of the trellis here, and then out there in front of the rose arbor. So I think at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video because I am just, as you can see, perhaps dripping, and um, it's not a pretty sight. So I'm gonna take a break and I will make another video for you another time you'll see friends and I hope you'll watch it thank you for joining me today have a wonderful day in your garden friends take care bye bye